You just caught me munching on jelly beans. Yum. Would you like one? Here you go. I've got a whole bag full. Oh, no, I haven't. I've got a hole in my bag. Oh, no. I'll have dropped jelly beans all over town. You know, I might be short of a few jelly beans, but I'm not short of a few clues. I bet I could make some jelly beans if I knew how. So, how do you make jelly beans, hmm? They're made from sugar and then it gets coated. You've got this sort of jelly in them and then people put a hard shell over them and put a colour in them. Machines. Hey, some good ideas there, but just hold your horses. I smell a trick question. I mean, jelly beans are beans, right? And beans grow on trees or vines or bushes or something, right? Well, just imagine a whole tree growing jelly beans. OK, just being a bit silly there. <laughs> Get it? Being a bit silly? <laughs> I think it's time for some serious investigation. Now, it just so happens I have a secret stash of jelly beans, just for scientific purposes, of course. And I think we need to find out what's going on inside those jelly beans. And I've got a good way of finding out. <laughs> OK, here it goes. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Mm, I've got another way. Here it goes. Hey, look. It looks like the jelly bean is made up of two parts. There's the centre. Oh, that's the bit in the middle, the centre. And there's the outer part. Hmm. You know, I think we need to find out more about these centres. OK. I won't be a moment. Mm. Now have a look at this. This started out as an orange jelly bean, but after I sucked off all the yummy orange outer layer, I ended up with this. And it's not orange at all. Mind you, it doesn't matter what colour jelly bean you start off with, they all end up like this. How do I know? Well, let's just say I sucked the colour off a few jelly beans. Like, these ones here were all green, and these ones were all blue. <laughs> Mmm, I'm looking for flavours here. I'm looking for mm, taste. And what am I getting? Well, I'm not really getting anything. No, these centres don't really have any flavour at all. And they all taste the same. I tell you what, though, they are quite bouncy and springy. <laughs> they remind me a bit of jelly. Yeah, but they're not as wobbly as jelly, and they're a bit thicker. But maybe that's where you get the jelly and jelly beans. Right, if we're going to make jelly beans, let's get started. <coughs> with jelly. Well, actually with gelatin. It doesn't have any flavour or colour. In fact, it's a lot like the jelly bean centres. But it gives the jelly its sort of springy, bouncy, jellyish. No, not jellyfish, jelly-ish kind of texture. OK, I'm going to make up a really thick mixture here. There, that's pretty thick. Now, I just need to find a way to get this into a shape like this. Here we go. Done. And don't they look just like bought ones? Well, almost. OK, let's figure out what we're going to put on the outside of the jelly bean. <laughs> As you can see, I've cut off the outer layer of a lot of jelly beans. And now I need to taste them. Oh, only for flavour and texture, of course. So, let's see. Hmm. OK, what flavours are coming through here? Mmm, mmm, mmm. We've definitely got orange flavours here. Mmm, very, very nice. Um, and one moment. Mmm, quite crunchy and gritty. Mmm, mmm. I'd say that there's definitely sugar there. Okay, 
Well, if we're going to make jelly beans, let's move on to the jelly bean outers. Hmm, and I think we're going to have to start with sugar. Aha! Well done. We've got the sugar. Now we need something for flavouring. Flavour. OK. And now something for colour, maybe. Colouring. And perhaps a little bit of water, just to make it nice and sticky. Now I'll mix them all up. Let's put this outer coating on our nice jelly-like innards. Mmm, just like the real thing. Well, maybe I can tell the difference, but I'm sure they taste the same. Here, would you like to try one? OK, I get the hint. Maybe we should send Susie Amcam out to the factory to see how they're really made. Good idea. Here we are in the Pascal's factory, where they make JB jelly beans. And hello, hello, we're starting with holes. Lots and lots of holes on big trays. And, oh, see that squirty mixture being squirted into the holes? That'll end up being those chewy jelly bean centres. The recipe's a bit different from the one I used. Well, there's sugar in there, and glucose syrup, and starch. And here's a lot more of those trays full of holes, full of mixture. A stack load of trays full of holes, full of mixture. And it's being put into a great big oven. That's right, we're looking at a great big oven, the biggest I've ever seen. And when they're finished cooking in the oven, they end up looking like this. Just like when I sucked away the outsides of those jelly beans I had. So we were right. There are two bits to a jelly bean, the outside and the centre. Now, where are we going here? Wow. This must be the other half of the jelly bean making business, adding the outsides. All the centres have been put into these big pans called, well, called pans, and each pan has different colouring and flavouring added. The colours and the flavours are in the syrup. There's some there. And the syrup is added in and mixed round, then some sugar is added to form a layer, then some more syrup and some more sugar. Looking at what's going on in there, it's no wonder our little investigation decided that the outside of the jelly bean was crunchy and sweet. You know, this is actually quite tricky, because the syrup's very sticky. I said it's actually quite tricky, because the syrup's very sticky. <clears throat> so these jelly bean cooks have to know just when to put the dry sugar in to stop all the jelly beans sticking together and becoming one giant jelly bean. One giant jelly bean. Mmm. And just check out those colours. Wow, amazing. Round and round and round and round and... Wow, see that big pipe? That sucks air up and away. Helps the jelly beans dry out and stop sticking together too. And look what we've ended up with. Yum, scrum. And of course, they've got to be mixed together. All the different flavours and colours. And how's that for a cool job? Mixing up jelly beans. Hmm, OK, I admit, they're a bit more yummy looking than my own efforts. OK, maybe they're a lot more yummier looking. But we did get two things right in our investigation. We figured out that jelly beans have two parts, a centre and an outer layer. It's just that you need lots of special equipment and all the right ingredients the way Pascal's do. Hey, why don't you investigate how your favourite treat is made? If you'd like more science information, you can head to my website. I'm at www.susie.co.nz or head to your local library. There's lots of science information there. You know, some people say you are what you eat. So if I eat too many more of these, I might end up a human being. Get it? A human being? <laughs> right, well, I'm off to brush my teeth. I'll see you next time. Ka kite. Now, I think we need to find out what's going in, going on in inside, on inside. Hmm. Here you go. Have a look. Oops, sorry. <laughs> OK, I've got another idea. Here it goes. <laughs> this programme was brought to you by New Zealand On Air.